Okay, all of these items, there's a total of 90 of them, or these are things that I've downloaded that won't appear because they're faulty, and if I can, I'll show you how to fix some of them so that they will appear. First is the AC44 CP interior. It's a cab for the AC44 locomotive, but I don't even use that locomotive anymore, so I don't really need this. Let's see, one of the errors is this, this asset using an obsolete trains build number. To fix that, all you have to do is edit it in Content Creator Plus. You don't really have to, uh, don't really have to change anything about it. You just edit it or something like that, and then you just save it. You don't really have to edit it at all. You just open it in Content Creator Plus, and then you save it, and then commit it. That'll get rid of the obsolete trains build problem. Ah, oh, one error. Okay. There's something wrong with one of its texture files, so that's not going to work anyway. So, forget those. Okay, let's try this one. The asset used an obsolete trains build number. Trains build numbers below 2.7 are, are no longer supported. Okay, that one can easily be fixed. Control Shift C. Click OK. And then Control S. And then Control M. Still faulty though, and that's because progressive meshes are no longer supported by trains. Though these meshes may work in trains, it is recommended that you switch to an LLD mesh. The other error is unable to load mesh file Amer a bunch of other stuff, shadow.pm. Those two errors are actually quite easy to fix. You need uh this uh, thing, this program right here, it's called PM to IM. It's something that converts the PM mesh to an IM mesh. What you do is you click on File and then Open. Then you search for the item that you're editing. It's gonna be in the. Why does it keep doing that? Sub. Okay. For some reason it won't stay. Hold on. Anyway, it's gonna be in the program files x86 under N3V games TS12. I think it's user user data. Yeah, user data. Editing. What was I looking for again? American Tender would load. Okay, let me see. Where is it? Oh! It has to be open for edit to find it. So control E to open for edit. Now I should be able to find it. Okay, let me go back. Ah, there's still something wrong with this thing. Okay, user data, editing. Okay, here it is. American Tender would load. And it's going to be in the body file. There is no shadow mesh for some reason. There's just a body mesh. But you open that. And then you click replace PM with IM. And then click on convert. And now it's finished. Now I just have to. Edit this in Content Creator Plus and replace the PM mesh with the IM one. Hmm. You should probably get rid of this too. That'll probably make it faulty. Anything that's in red, you should probably just delete. Okay. Mesh table. Under default, that's where the I that's where the body mesh is located. Click on this to look for a different one. It's gonna be in the body file. Click on the IM mesh and then open it. And now it's visible. There is no shadow mesh, so I'll just delete that. 
Because if I don't, it's going to say the shadow mesh couldn't be loaded, and that'll make it faulty. And now, just control S to save everything. And control M. Now it has a thumbnail image, too. Oh, it's still folding for some reason. Attachment point animated mesh in Q load coal was not found. Okay, just delete the attachment then. Control Shift C again. Sometimes committing it creates new errors that have to be fixed. Yeah, this is the problem thing. It's always written in red. Just get rid of it. And that should make it um work. So control S again. Sometimes if it's something that was intended for 2004, there's so many errors you you start to wonder, is it even worth trying to fix? Okay, this big Pacific interior. Why is this faulty? Uh, a lot of texture errors. I can't really fix that. The reason, the, act, the actual reason this is faulty is because this was part of the um, Blue Comet Express um, pack that I downloaded, but um... I tried to back it up, and apparently it doesn't work if you try to do that. Anyway, this is BLW Con V2. I'm not even sure what it is, but it's a part of a steam locomotive. Why is it faulty? Texture engine black dot texture is missing or could not be loaded from mesh. Well, first of all, let's get rid of this um this obsolete trains build error. Okay, what happened? Where'd it go? Is this it? I guess it is. Okay, now let's try to fix the texture error. I usually can't fix texture errors, but in this one, sometimes... Uh, sometimes I'm able to find out where... Oh, it doesn't... Wow, it was right. The black dot texture file is missing. Well, to fix that, I need the... I need a shadow of some sort. So, I'll just look for one. Okay, I'm going to take the shadow file of this ice tram and I'm going to use the textures from its shadow to fix the black dot texture missing error. It's in the shadow folder. Let's see, black dot TGA, black dot texture. Those are two files that I need, so I just copy and paste them to the other editing folder of this um thing. Okay, paste. Let's see, now I have a black dot TJ and black dot texture file for it. I think I also need another file, but I don't remember. I can just revert this. Okay, it's still faulty. Why is it faulty this time? The texture is still missing. Okay, how did I fix this last time? Black dot texture. Okay, I think I copied the, let's see, black. Oh yeah, I think what I did was I copied the TGA file, pasted it here, and then renamed it black.texture or something. Let me see. You change a file name extension, the file might become unusable. Sure you want to change it? Yes. Let's see. Let's see if that worked. Hmm, still faulty. What did I do last time? Hold on. Oh wait, I just realized it's called engine black dot texture. I forgot to rename it. So control shift E again. 
Okay, so change the black to engine black. It has to be the right name or it's not going to recognize it. What am I doing? NGI. And then underscore. And then black. Okay. Has to be the same way for the TGA file. Where is it? Engine black dot texture. E-N-G-I-N-E underscore black dot TGA. Okay. I think it won't be faulty now. Let me see. One error. I need to load source texture. Oh, did I name it wrong? Heh. <sighs> Sometimes that error occurs that you misspelled it. Oh man, I did. That was supposed to be an E, not an R. How did that happen? These keys are so close together. Okay, now let's see what happens. Now that it's spelled correctly, it should work this time. Ah, now what? Black.convert text. Hmm. Okay, I think I discovered the issue in the um engine black dot texture um file. The name is misspelled. So if I type engine and then underscore and then save this, and that should fix the problem. Most of the, some of the time with this specific steam locomotive, the texture errors are usually just a, just a texture being misspelled. So, control M. Where'd it go? It's no longer on the list, so it's no longer faulty. Now I gotta do the exact same thing for this thing, whatever it is. Okay. Paste. Oh, I need to go back to the file it was from. I went into the Ice Tram shadow folder and I'm copying these black dot texture and black dot TGA files. Copy them both into the edit file of this um, bogey for the steam locomotives. And of course, don't forget to rename them and rename the. Um, the texture.txt file. So in here, call it engine underscore black dot TGA and save it. And then rename both of these files to have the same name as the texture that's missing. Oops, I almost misspelled it again. Okay, now this one should be non-faulty. Hold on. Okay, here's the faulty object, BLWTWB2, whatever that is. I think it's a bogey. I'm committing it after all these changes, and it's not on the list anymore, so it's no longer faulty. Now this BNSF SD40-2, this is a built-in item. To, stop, to make it non-faulty, all you have to do is right-click, uh, highlight edit and click revert to original that usually fixes that problem these blue comet stuff I have to re-download to fix them let's see what's this drive to station version 2 why is this faulty could not read file scripts I have no idea what that means